going through 2.3 fictitious, fictitious site launch um, and feedback. So we're going to be doing peer and instructor feedback on our campus and online sites. So we're going to start with campus um, feedback and we'll start with Zach's. So let's pull this up. And we're going to go through here um, and start by looking at the site and the, um, how it was redesigned. I actually would like to pull up Real Deal Tacos first. Tacos, if I can spell it, that would help. Okay. It's like not that. It's something, it's like there's something at the end of it. It's like it's not even with an S. So that's a bad thing for them, right? Yeah. Their name, I'd want to change it if you can. Real Deal Tacos. Oops. I think you like Taco Chino. Oh. <laughs> Permanently closed. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so be informed. So this is their site and how it looks. Originally we have the home, we have the menu, we have the location, and we have the about us. And then there's no contact section, but this is what they have as their contact. All right, so going back, we're gonna look at Zach's. And first we see um, the logo at the top. Now one thing that I would change is making sure that it's not cut off. You can see the logo right here. It cuts it off so you see Diego in Califo in the R here and that. And so that's something you want to make sure that you preserve the logo. Um, the other thing, aesthetically looking, uh, the color here. It's not within their color palette. <laughs> and that's something you want to check, right? Uh, for web and you want to check between Mac also and even PC when you're looking at different monitors um, because they have a different um, visual appeal and you want to see what is your audience using as well so you want to check multiple screens when you're looking. Uh, the view menu, so one of your things was that one of your things was changing the menu? I couldn't like go in and change it. Without... I mean is that one, was that one of your objectives? Yeah. Oh, okay. Your, so your objective was that. So the, having that there is good. The only thing would be the color palette. Yeah. yeah, that I would look at. I like this feel right here because of the menu being a little bit different. It has a kind of a fun feel with it um, instead of going with that large menu there. And so when you scroll, it does stay as well. Um, Oh yeah, so we'll get to that one, right, when we're looking at it. So if we go back to, where are they here, their color palette, they have the blues, the white, so unless you were changing the color for a red for a reason, um, I'd want to see why, but it really just doesn't go with this blue. Um, but I like having the view menu. If we click this, it takes you to a menu. Um, it's just the one that Okay. Really deep into everything, like deleting the entire page and then building it from scratch. Within it. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I always like um, is pictures with an online menu. I think it helps entice it, or at least even a main picture on the menu page, right? Because if you're talking about food, you want to create that sensation in some someone's stomach to bring you know them in. And so even if you don't have it for every single item having at least some type of food visualization there to connect the dots is good. Um, also, you have, let's see, this is in a different color, so if you're going to keep it uh, within your, I guess, oh, you have cocktails here. Okay, I see what you did here. Yeah, all of that's just like, I couldn't within like it. change color, menu items, titles, or anything, because it was like, delete the entire page. Okay, but you have it live text, so that is a good thing. Um, and you're saying within the template it wouldn't let you? Yeah, like the only way I could go in and edit was like having to go back through Wix and like just delete the page itself and then have to rebuild the page. Okay. And so if you were doing this for a client, you probably would just to keep on the color palette. Yeah. 
um, and make sure that everything goes well. Um, also, if you're going to like stay with one, I would almost suggest putting like this in black then if you want to do the opposite, right? So putting that um, other text there. But you can read it easily. The you can, if they're all nine dollars, you put our nine dollar menu, all right? And so that you don't even have to put anything else within there. Do they not have any food? That's what, well, I couldn't go in and put the food like the cocktails and tequila is like what the like everything template there has. is like the stock. Yeah, like from the template because I couldn't go in and change anything. Oh, like, um, like if I tried to select text and just change it, it acted like everything was all together in just the entire page. Was one. Okay. Well, then, yeah, finding a different template, I guess, would be a good thing to do within that. Um, this is the other point that I see, so let's chat. Um, so making sure someone's obviously there if you're going to have that feature. Um, and this could be overwhelming for a food truck site, right, to always have a chat thing on. And so that would be something, um, depending on what their goals are, that maybe you would or wouldn't include. I like having it, but maybe you have certain hours um, that you would have, but that could be something that is overwhelming. And again, keeping within the color palette would be a good thing. Uh, let's see. Let's go actually back to the home. Okay, so the home. Is this a fully scrolling? Yeah, like everything's all Okay. So that's great for um, your phone, right? A phone design. But when it comes to SEO and a website, that could be semi-problematic because if you want to rank higher you want to have multiple pages cached. And so depending on how it um, changes the page names, um, that could be an issue. All right, so let's go to the About section. Um, I'm a paragraph. Okay, so the, so writing the text here would be another important thing to have the actual text and have something um, for the placement. And again, right here. I like the see the menu button, the call to action, because you're, again, driving people to the menu if that's what you want. Um, and then be cautious of, obviously, words wrapping. Yeah, San Diego's and then putting best fish tacos maybe on one line would be something better to do. But everything's aligned nice right here, so that's good. Now, you do have um, the left justification here and then the, the center justification here. And so you want to make sure that you have consistency also across the board. And then I would maybe um, go with the other blue as well to keep within their color palette when you're looking here. Uh, let's see, so happenings. Okay, so that's the other thing, right? So if you're gonna do it, also uh, having it in order. So it goes about, oh wait, that's not the menu, okay. Never mind, you are in order. I was thinking it wasn't. Happenings. So when you see happenings, what do you guys think of? News, yeah. And so I wouldn't think of hours. And so that wouldn't be intuitive. So you want to think like your viewers and think, what would I think if I had this would be an event or where you can find us or anything that we're doing. Um, and then you also have it looking like it's almost center slash left justified. So I would maybe change that a little bit. And then is this, oh, you have every day, okay. Maybe um, even bringing this up a little bit closer because it takes you a second when you're like this every day. Um, and then put a space between 11 a.m., the dash, the hyphen, and the 2 p.m. That's something I would maybe update as well. It looks very festive, though. And I like, it keeps with a vibe, even if the colors are a little off. I like the typography that you chose as well. All right, so then menu. Did that just take us to a different page? Yeah. Oh, okay, so there, it is more than the one page then. So you have multiple pages within that. So you have just the first three scroll, and then it goes to that one as well. I think the reservation contest has to be done for that original page. Though. Now, reservations, I don't remember seeing this as part of anything in um, the changes. Uh, for a food truck, would they have reservations? So that would maybe be something that you want to take off because it's not logical to the site, right? If they can't reserve anything, um, maybe you instead would have like party inquiry, right? So we do events. So we can cater your events if you're interested in it. Um, you know, inquire with us now. Do they move? If they do, then um, this might not be the best thing unless it changes and it's interactive, like we are here now. That could be a really cool feature, right? That shows exactly where you are. I was like trying to get a forest, I 
in real time. In the general area of San Diego. Having that there. Let's see. What is this section right here? Because that could skip through. I just realized. So it goes, you have menu, it's on its own, and then reservations, it takes you there. And then contact us just goes down to this area and connecting. I do like the social buttons. Um, none of them work, though. So that would be something that you'd want to change. And having, you know, the real information and making them have it, everything here. Um, what else would I maybe change? It's... Good photos, although maybe you would even do something without paper napkins in it <laughs> when you're looking at stuff and just focus really on the food. But, I mean, it is food trucks. So I think that's fine. I like the fresh ingredients. Um, I think that's a good part of it here. But this would be the one section. There's nothing that takes you here. So unless you scroll up, you don't see the Instagram. So maybe have that at the bottom with a contact. And so it does make a reservation and then contact me to see the photos as well or a gallery, or move that even with the menu somehow, and so you can see that. But having an interactive piece is always good, so that they know where you are as well. Any feedback that anyone else would like to give? Uh, I really like the template itself, like the, the font and everything, and the, um, I like the Punk Dottie area too. Mm -hmm. So like if you just like match that with the, um, the coffee or something like that, you would I like this one. These are all the ones that. Uh, Not the photos themselves, the, the way that the black box is oh, yeah. the photos. Um, some of the photos, it looks like it's kind of ghostly looking. So I like the photos. Yeah. Yeah, you could even zoom in too, right? And then bring it over and yeah, add to it. Because that's the point with it. Yeah. Maybe even like a find us now. Where are we now type of thing as well. Could be kind of cool. All right. Good job. All right. Let me just quickly look at this. Okay, let me go into the next one. We have Lauren. All right. I literally, it says, I literally click submit. Like it clicked, it turned midnight and then I clicked submit <laughs> because my computer was literally about to die so I had to plug it in and by the time I got back to like finish submitting it, it was like one second. I think I can give you a reprieve on one minute. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I doubt you could have finished this all in one minute. Wait. All right. <laughs> so we have Lauren's right here. Um, all right. So the logo. Uh, you have everything in here, which is good. One thing, if, unless it's like in a bar, I mean, I don't know, maybe having some type of contrast behind it, it feels like it needs to pop off a little bit more. So either a circle, um, which I know can be hard to construct, but you'd have to add more blue in order to do that um, and then cut it out. Um, but that would be one thing. This blue does go with it. I'm not like, sure what the color palette was. Sure. I was just kind of like focusing on making sure the font was legible. You know what I mean? Like just with the color in the background and stuff. So I, like, I can fix that. Yeah, and it, like I said, it's um, complimentary to it, but if, unless it's, I will see if it's used somewhere else. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily needed. I, I get using it, though, so that you have live text, and I understand that you could you, you go with black, though. Um, also, the contrast on this, right? Um, yeah, the contrast is lacking. I mean, I can brighten this up a little bit, too. Um, but... It could have uh, just a little bit more contrast. I really like the photos. It makes you hungry. Um, I could definitely go in and have a drink or, you know, definitely want to eat this. The food looks appealing in the image. Um, so that's good. And it looks nicely plated. 
Uh, you have the social buttons up here, which I like. Okay. Okay. So that would be the only thing, making sure that they are linkable yeah. and that they um, they fit the brand look so far um, and that you have the menu here. That's a good thing so people can switch over. Now, again, the contrast is a little off. I mean, you can see it, still see it, um, but it's just a little bit. Maybe I would stay with their blue just to keep it consistent across the board in their color palette um, within this. I would also, because it feels unbalanced, Bring this uh, third one, if you have it, um, in the center. Okay. I like, couldn't figure out how to move anything around. Like, I figured out how to input the in menu info, but it kind of just, like, formatted itself, and I couldn't move the thing. So I figure out how to do that. Now, I understand why they have it so it's, like, on the side so it doesn't move. Yeah. But I think I would like the menu stuck here at the top. It feels like it should be there um, instead of being as dynamic and moving. So... That would just be, that's a personal thing, but it does work. I mean, it's on the side. It just feels like, oh, okay, it's hanging out here on the side. Um, imagery, I think, would be great as well. Um, what is this, no corn? Is it the gluten-free, gluten okay, within it. And so that's a good thing, especially with their the health. Um, also, just making sure that this all stays within a color palette as well. This is like a little off than black. The title is like almost like a really dark eggplant. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to look at it. I like was, I finally figured out how to change the menu information and then I like couldn't figure out more than that. No, well, that's one thing where you want to check though the color number, right? Too, because sometimes not everyone has eyes that can um, decipher the different colors easy. And so this is where the numbers can help you in the guide. Um, in my screen, it even looks darker than that. So here it looks a lot brighter, but I could just tell it was a little off. So you just want to make sure that you're staying within a certain color palette. Um, I wouldn't go much smaller than this for your um, text, but I think that's fine and it works and you have all this centered. But yeah, I would still would bring that over. Um, let's see. I like that you updated, obviously, the menu and that's there. You have everything here. Besides, for, I would play with the spacing a little bit more, too, because of how this is. And maybe do three rows um, instead. Um, I mean, three columns, sorry, instead when you're looking at it. And so they have the addition. All right, within here. So we have the menu page. Let's go back to the home as well. I like love the vibrance of the imagery that's used. I think that's great. Fashion local. So we're looking here. Okay, because the we really. And I was like, I was like, hold on a second. Why are they spelling it like that? So that makes more sense. Um, within the story. Okay. Is this typography used anywhere else on the page? Stuck with the typography that kept the title. Okay, um, within it. Yeah, because I just, I was trusting it, I guess. Sure. I was thinking maybe, I didn't know how this would look, I would play with it, but that would maybe look nice here so that you're at least using minimal number yeah. um, of different fonts. All right, so we have that, we have the about, let's go to the location page. Yeah, and I say how the pink, the yeah. Other, yeah. And so that would just be another thing. I would possibly change. This also feels a little crammed with the image. I would maybe um, trim this a little bit um, on this side because it feels like it's pushing in to this side right here. Hours of operation, you have that, so that connects. And then you can see the location. That's good. But yeah, I definitely would change that. And then let's go to contact again. Yeah, these contrasts are real off. So you have the call us, follow us. Um, and you have the social buttons, which is good because it gives you a lot of outbound links to their page. And they keep it very simple. Okay. 
And then the form, I guess, of how they, but that doesn't look intuitive. I would also maybe have a different send button because this right here looks like it's the underlying thing and it doesn't make you want to click. Maybe that's their thing they don't want to. This looks really good, the image. So you did a great job with the imagery. You also have the let's chat. Yeah, I, okay, honestly, I thought that that was for me talking to the Wix people. Honestly, like, I thought that was So like, that would be, yeah, the other thing I would do too because, again, Okay. It's one of those things, or you, I would even put here instead of um, the, this, like send us your photos, right? Like, and do a call to action to get them to want to submit more of their photos, and maybe have some of their Instagram photos on this page because it does entice people to see what other people are doing. When they have it, but yeah, so the color palette, but otherwise you have that everything looks aligned pretty nice and it works and having the multiple changes, pages helps. Um, the other thing with the R story, wait, why did, how did I even get to here? Did I miss this somehow? Okay. I was thinking it was on the home. Okay. Our story, I would maybe show the couple as well, right? Because it creates a connection. You're like, oh, yeah, they're here, and I know who they are. And so when you see people, it just it creates that yeah. feel. Um, and so it just works. This is the other reason why I don't like this menu moving is because, look, when you scroll, yeah. you kind of can lose a little bit of it. Okay, so the About has a news and events and testimonials. Yeah, I totally skipped over this thing. Um, that's the other thing, too, right here is how it scrolls into the sections. You might almost miss it. If you do this, you might not even realize that there's news events under here. So maybe even having like a little arrow thing that pops them down um, into a secondary navigation like we have seen on Zach's where it had like everything going down on the page um, could help within that. And then obviously changing the colors here. Or maybe even add some of these testimonials on the front as well. I like the, you have the events and everything. Any other feedback? Yeah. And what were your main goals? Um, so I would, I just wanted to like try to get as much information that they provided like on the website. And there's like a lot of things that I would have liked to do. Like if it was a real company that like I could get in contact with and get their information, like I wanted to do a video on the homepage because I, I, in the research I came across like a couple of food truck sites that had like a video that was like a minute or so long and it just kind of like explained their situation and stuff. And I felt like that'd be helpful because it is a food truck. And um, yeah, I wanted to get, I just wish, I wish it was real and like up to date or something even because it is a real company. They just like have nothing online anywhere. So it's like, I just wish, because I, I would have liked to put more detail into everything. You know what I mean? And I mean, when you're doing that, too, obviously it's fictitious, yeah. um, you can create content for it. Okay. And so instead of just like, oh, I, there's nothing there, okay, well, then I'm going to create it and put the whole menu out there. Okay. That would be one one way to do it within a school project. Obviously, you wouldn't mean to make fake things if you're doing it for a real client. Um, or I would contact them and be like, hey, we need more images of this, or we could use more content. Can we get your approval on it? Um, and find out if they want to write the content or if you um, should write the content for them. And then you can say, this is going to be an upcharge for me writing it um, and, you know, and what we're going to be doing. Yummy. No, I want tacos. All right. Miss Parker. All right, so what are your goals before we get started? Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. So we will we'll review then and then we are here. Uh, starting from the very top, it's a little cut off. But um, it's mostly there. But the other thing is I can't see some of the text in the logo, right? So I would increase the size of it um, to at least like what I'm circling right here on the screen is what I would do. Um, and then if we could get rid of this bar, that would be awesome. Yeah. I'd have to look at the template with you. But yeah, that would be a thing I would do. Um, so we have location, menu, about contact, blog, and gallery. Um, just because of how people typically read it and where they expect it, you might want to change the order of this. Um, typically, you know, you might have about, and then you would have menu or, or um, gallery, blog, uh, location, contact. The reason I put the location first was because it has like an extra Okay. The majority of our websites have the location as the first thing. Find us is their big thing when you're looking at it. Um, and maybe it works, but I would just keep an eye on that just because when you're eye tracking, right, and you're looking, it's like, wait, where is it? So it's just um, a, a simple thing that can change in your mind. Um, let's look at this. Now, the contrast on this is a little rough. And so you could do that by either adding, like, some type of shadow behind it, um, maybe even a bar that goes across um, that has a different, you know, opacity, um, changing the opacity of the image, but that would be um, something that I would do. I like you have a tagline, we're just getting started, um, and you have the name there, so that you're having the live text. If, let me see if, something I should show you guys this, um, when you're naming it, do we have the name of the file right here? And so you have its image, image, right? So one thing I want to show you guys too, you can put the keywords in here um, in the way that you name your file because that way it will also pull up on the internet. And I'm sure everyone's probably made this mistake when you're doing it, but it's just something to keep in mind that you're naming your images properly. Um, so for SEO purposes, it will populate in a different way. Um, and you want to do the alt text and everything else that way as well. But that's something that's a little bit more in depth. Um, all right, so we're looking here. We're just getting started. Everything's capitalized. We're good there. But yeah, the contrast is a little off. Um, I think there's a little too much spacing between this, if you're going to pop it up um, when we're looking. Uh, so I would maybe move up location a little bit. Um, and then the justification is different. Is this the template's justification? Like how it's all... Mm -hmm. But it was like the way that the, some of the other tabs were lined up on the other pages, it looked better when it was wide open. Okay. So it was more consistent. But I think the contrast is kind of confusing. A little bit. I mean, because if you're going to play the, like, the different thing, right, I would try it where this is all lined here. Mm -hmm. So this would go here, this is here, and then this was centered or something. If you're trying something that's a little kooky um, to just have a little bit more balance. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, there's like, it's a little odd in the alignment here. Um, but I think realignment can work. It's just a matter of where, how, it, where, all right. So you have Mondays, Tuesdays. I would also put a little bit more space in between each day, maybe an extra space, um, so that your eyes have time to adjust. All right. The hours, again, the alignment is just a little odd here um, when you're looking at this. It was a great idea. I kind of forgot. <laughs> um, 
but you have okay and you have that here and then yeah the alignment of your social buttons as well would do that but i like the photos it looks like you guys all found like similar stock photos out there Uh -huh. That one's $2.99. So when you're, when you're doing a comp, just so you know, yeah. you don't have to go pay for them. So when you're turning in a comp, you can have the um, the watermark over it. It's fine. Okay. But when they if they decide to go with the image, that's when you end up buying it. And so every time I would do a comp, you know, we would just pick it and say, this, well, this one work. And then once we knew it, we would buy it. So it wasn't always like, oh, when are you going to use it? We just waste some money. But I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so you have that. So the, yeah, that's the biggest thing on this one is alignment. All right, let's go over to menu. We have a little effect going on here. Do we have the effect on the other pages? Oh, we do. Okay, I was curious if it does it. It loads different. All right. So we have that again. Um, is it the same size? No. Okay, so it's the same size as that one. Real deal tacos. But then location is different. So that's the one thing, like, where the consistency, right? Because the naming. So this one you would think would be the same as how menu would be. Ooh. It has all different effects every single time. So maybe set something that's more standard. Yeah. So it's not just flying at us. Um, I'd have more space in between these. Some of those things were folded before. And they don't look folded now. No, they're not. So the menu is a little hard to read. I can't. This would frustrate me as a viewer. Um, and then having consistency where, like, capitalization. No, that just has, like, repeat products. That's what you just talked about. I think that's something that's, like, the format thing for, like, whatever. Okay. If the folding went away, too, yeah. So I would have that, and then, so this is supposed to be underneath it. Okay, yeah, then space, a little bit of space in between each one, even if it's bolded, mm -hmm. just to give the eyes a chance to rest. Um, get all three... Yeah, so this is a little hard to read. But it happens to the best of everyone. All right, so you have that and any special. So let's see, all tacos are three or two for five. And then having them a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit of space in between that and then each one of these. And the same things here. And again, maybe having it all left aligned. It looks like, because even, let's see, like here to this one, to this one, there's odd spacing. Um, so it's not even that these are all in alignment. So just be careful what, if you're, like, copying the text and pasting it, because sometimes when you're doing it, you get the spaces after, and you paste it, and you forget to do it. This is why I always give myself extra time, like, the next day to go back in and look, right? with a fresh set of eyes, because when you're first looking, everyone's going to make their own mistakes. So you have to go back and then bring even rulers in and everything. Okay. So those are the things with the menu. And then if you had images, maybe have some more, but um, you have some here with the starters and maybe even having a different image with each section could be good. Get you hungry. All right. The belt. Let's see, again, for the about, I would maybe have the people there who started it, maybe a photo with the food truck itself, um, or something else that's within here. And again, the little bit on the alignment. I do like that you have different pages, however. Um, I think that's good. I would also, though, make sure that you're naming them in a way like about us instead of like about one. Um, because people, when they're searching for certain things, they might look for that. Now, it does have the hyphen, so if they put just about, it would probably probably pull up. Okay, contact. Um, the form might be a deterrent as well. I'd have, like, a phone number on there um, or a different way that they can contact you um, just because of the fact that they might be trying to get a hold of somebody right away or putting in a to-go order, right? Or can we order ahead of time? And so this might frustrate them um, if there's no way to reach out. 
And so you have to think about that as a food truck. They're like, hey, can we, I wonder if we can order ahead of time so we have to wait in line, right? Or we can put lace in order. And this doesn't have anything on that. Let's see. Blog. I like that you have a blog and a new section on here. I think that's good. Now, the typography, though, it's different right here on the titles of the blog and from everything else in the site. So it kind of changes in that design look. Um, I know this is probably just a template and putting it in here, um, but I would keep with the um, sans serif look just because that's what you've been consistent with throughout the entire site. But I do like that you have um, a blog post in here and working with it. Now, also, you want to be careful as um, this goes back to the first um, class when we talked about copying and pasting text, right, in the Ten Commandments. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're um, checking the formatting because if you copy it from one place and paste it somewhere else, the way that it's looking when it actually goes live can be like this where it breaks it. Yeah. And then once I co pasted it from that into there, then the format would stay. But pasting it from like the documents that you gave us and putting it on there, like the format always kept the same. The, um, yeah, and so that's something you, and you can go into the code section of any blog and even remove all that as well. Or just take it and put it, like all your content into a plain thing and just put plain text to remove all the formatting. I do like that you have share buttons on here. That's also great because you get people to share your content. And so anytime you do a blog, you want to make sure that they are there. And I would also have um, maybe some photos. I haven't read the thing, but you see fresh art, right? And so I'm like, well, I want to see what the pictures are. And so they're more enticing. Gallery. So this is weirdly formatted because you can't see anything all on the same page. I see like you have a gallery, <laughs> but <laughs> the formatting is a little off. Well, this is why you check it. And then you have also some formatting issues right here with the text as well. And I don't know that you have to put the whole thing with Brenda in here because, again, this is about the photos. And then maybe even pull in from social media as well mm -hmm. so that you have um, the different outbound links um, to it and the connection. I feel like the other reason, too, what there's like so many just like small things that we like did wrong is because like when you're making a website, it's just so much to look at. You know what I mean? Like everything you can edit, there's just so much going on. It's hard for me to like focus on what I'm working on. Yeah. And see, like, when this gallery text goes away, too, it looks odd, right? The formatting looks off. And so that's where maybe even having that up top and then having the photos go underneath, I think, would benefit it. And that's probably where this is also getting cut off um, because this should possibly go underneath and then have the gallery with a little bit of text here and then bring this underneath um, would be a big thing. All right. Feedback. Let's see. Oh, wait. That's the other issue. So the logo isn't clickable to take us back to a home page. So there's no way to get back to a home page on here, unless this is the home page. Okay. So that would be the other um, thing. If um, you're going to have no home button, which again, you don't need a home button anymore, but logos are usually there to click. And if you click the logo, it will take you back. I think most that's mostly intuitive now. All right, any other feedback? Yeah, and blogs provide more content and you get more stuff that's very up to date, right? And so you're always adding something. And people have blogs to have that different feel um, and to create a personality for the brand. And so when you have news or you have other stuff, you're also linking out and it gives you more opportunities to be indexed for SEO. All right. I see the face back there. She's like, oh no, I'm next, I'm next. <laughs> It's 
Okay. Our last one in class before we go to the others. Mm. I'm not sure. Um, it depends on, yeah, maybe. I'm like, because I'm, I have to, uh, another class. I'm teaching also online, so I'm like, wait, yeah. All right. So starting off, I really dig this. The logo is really clear. It doesn't have any extra text. Um, this is done really, really nice. You have the, even the photos inviting. It's like an open top area, so you're welcoming them in. So I really dig that, and I think it's good. And then you use their color. It's a little darker than their color, um, so maybe light in it just so you keep it, but maybe you changed a color palette for them. It looks like you did. Okay, yeah, so you went a little bit darker. Dark yeah, and that's just something. If, if the client agree, that's great, but no, I really, really dig this design starting off. So good job. Um, it is a, is it a one page design? Okay, for the home and then is about, okay, so it does take you to a different thing. So let's see, about our food truck. So the title I maybe would change, right? Because if it's not going to be on the about page, that's why I was asking when I scroll down um, and just put our food truck or something, a different contents or maybe some previews on the front page as well. But I like this. The imagery is really great down here. It shows that it's different. The best tacos in San Diego for real. I would maybe even make best in blue as well. So you have best, you know, and then you have their thing as well. Sticking out, but I do like the typography. It goes nicely with it. Um, and then you use paragraphs, good, and the photos, and then they can read more. I feel like the picture looks really good there, too, like the taco one, because the tacos all being down, it, like, keeps, it like brings your eyes down. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, it's, it looks really nice. Um, the story of our food truck, are they talking about the ingredients in here too? The only other thing is maybe... Yeah, something with them with the product, like them cooking it, right? Asking for an early photo of them or something. Uh, I, obviously, I know you guys don't have access to this stuff, but just suggestions when you're doing it. But I like the photo. Um, what our customers say, I like the ingredients, the raw ingredients and everything as well. Um, and they talk about the certified organic farm, so that, that ties in with this. One way that you guys could all increase your SEO is when you, I've seen you guys all have these different links. You could do outbound links to these locations as well. Um, and then, or maybe even to the, like a image that they had on Instagram showing your food truck there, uh, so that it creates and generates more traffic on your behalf. But I like all this. It, it looks nice. Regular customer surfer. All right, going down here and you have the logo down here that looks nice as well. And we're looking at this. All right, let's go into menu. So this is what I was talking about earlier, having a different sub photo for each section because it gets that appeal and reiterates it. So I think that looks really good. Fresh and organic. Check out our menu below. Okay, right, that's good. And starters, you have, the, it's very clear, easy to read. I think having the image balances it in between a little bit more. Um, so if you don't have this in the center, um, but that's the only other thing, because like in the other one, that maybe I would change. Uh, if you don't have another one here, just to move it center. But um, I think the image helps with that balance, especially because you have more weight in these images on that side. All right, I like how I have the all tacos up here as well. It's very simple, clean, easy to read. So you have that. I was looking at, um, somebody sent me a mailing the other day, or email, and it said, 
it sounded like a really ridiculous price because they meant to put cents and they put a dollar sign. Oh yeah, coffee for only twenty five and they put a dollar sign. It was <laughs> Bed Bath and Beyond. And so this made me think of it right here when you have this. Because yeah. And I'm like, you have to be careful with that. I was like, coffee for only twenty five dollars a cup? I was like, that sounds really expensive. I don't want that one, right? When they're looking at their man like and so this made me think about that with that. But no, everything's aligned correctly, so it looks nice within it. Um, what information on our recipes, ingredients, or menu, feel free to email us, okay? And so you have that there. So that's good within there. Yeah, the color would be the one thing maybe because it does look a little dark, maybe brightening it. But it has nice spacing. I would maybe bring the lunch a little closer and dinner and put a little bit of space between this and then maybe if you want to do it to have those two a little closer. But overall, um, it looks good. This one, I would maybe make this image a little smaller, if you could, just because it looks a little oddly heavier close to it, but other than that, everything looks good within it. Um, when I'm looking at it, everything looks aligned really nice so far. And the one thing everyone else had was the every day. I think that's also reinforces that within the hours. You also have a news. That's good. Real deal tacos. <laughs> I like that. That makes me laugh. So this is also a good thing to have. And you have their brand. It looks nice. The colors. And you have everything there. If we click on them, let's see. You have the share buttons as well. So again, that's good. And having the image within the post. You always want to put images in posts as well because when people share your content, it's what populates like on the social pages, right? So Facebook, if you don't have one, it might not have anything and that gets people to do that. This typography is the only thing that maybe I would change. It looks really small and I even recognize it there at first. Um, it would be, is it on the other pages? No. Well, it just looks sort of like... It is okay because I couldn't tell. So, yeah, I'd maybe have it so it matches the rest of it. So, I'd have that black um, typeface. All right. Ooh, that's a big follow us button. Woo! Okay, now the photo is there. So, at first, that didn't make as much sense when the photo wasn't there. I was like, what's going on here? Um, and so, you have that. Also, uh, let's see, contact our food truck. Maybe a picture of somebody within there, but I see you're telling them to contact. So, you have that and then follow us. I like how it changes, but at first I would be like, follow us where, yeah. right? When you do it, so I like this view though, better. I actually, if it stayed on that one, I think that would actually look nice without the change. That's just my viewpoint. Everything works. Okay, good job. And then you can get back to the home. Questions? Anyone else feedback? Yeah, you did a great job. I really love this front part. It looks very professional and clean. Good job with that. All right. So that concludes our campus portion. We're going to go online now. Let's go and pull this up. Yeah, we're still recording. It didn't stop this time. I know. All right. So let's see. Do I have that? I pulled it up. And this is my outline. So we have 10 to go through in here. All right. Let me close all of these.
You guys want to take a break? Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, and then I will resume with another recording for online.